Hi everyone, this is David Boucher here, and this afternoon I'm very excited uh, to share with you what I think is uh, the first recording of a Google Glass application as it relates to an oil and gas context. Now if you've been reading my blog either at uh, davidvaucher.com or fuelfix.com, you'll know that uh, a challenge I set for myself around the new year was to learn how to program. Well, long story short, um, I went from basic Java to Android programming to then being invited into the Google Glass Explorer program. And the nice thing about transitioning from Android to Google Glass is that they're the same programming languages. In any case, I really feel like even though the device isn't perfect, I really do feel like this is the future of technology and there are, there are tons of potential applications for Google Glass and uh, wearable technology generally in the oil field. So what I'm going to do today is present to you uh, some early results from my efforts in programming. One thing I have to, to indicate is that um, obviously I don't work in field services anymore and so I'd love to I would love to present to you with uh, with something in, in better context. So basically I'd love to have oil field equipment around to actually show you how this is deployed in the field but I can't do that so unfortunately I'm going to have to, to ask you to imagine for now how this could be used. The second thing uh, that I want to indicate is that um, of course, you can't actually see the point of view that I'm getting with the glass device. Thankfully, there's a handy feature that's available where you can actually mirror the display from glass to your tablet, either over a Wi-Fi connection, over a Bluetooth connection, which is what I have here. And you can imagine that that's useful for a couple of reasons. So let's imagine that uh, the glass device is being worn by, worn by a field engineer, which is what I've designed my programs for. So say you show up to the job uh, coordinator's office and you want to walk through the job together, you can, you as the field engineer can walk through it on glass while the coordinator follows along on the tablet or smartphone. In the same way, if the field engineer gets to the field and wants to walk uh, the company man through the job and the procedure, he can just hand the company man this tablet and walk through that procedure. It's very important to, to recognize though that uh, you don't need the tablet for this to work. So basically all of the uh, information I'm going to show you is stored on the Google Glass device and can be accessed on the rig floor in a hands-free and safe way by the field engineer. So you can see that uh, the device already picked up uh, some of my, my voice signals. But what I'm going to show you right now are uh, the three sort of very simple programs I've come up with to pull up uh, three different uh, important information packets as they relate to the job. So the first one is going to be um, details on where the job is taking place. The second is going to be um, a listing of information of things the field engineer should complete before starting the job. And the final one will actually be uh, the tool assembly. So the field engineer can pull that up uh, whenever they'd like to during the job. So with that said, I'm going to put the device on. I'm going to stop the stopwatch that's uh, been going on. And here I am at the command screen. So I'm going to say, OK, Glass pull up the job location details. So you can see that I've actually programmed it to, to come up with this sort of fictional, uh, fictional location. But of course, you could plug in any data. So I said the job will take place here, the Acme rig, Drilling Rig 15P. And I can just scroll forward. And I've actually said it's offshore Qatar. So I can actually take a look at the map of where this rig is going to, uh, where it's going to be positioned. I can then swipe back to take myself back to the screen. And uh, let, let's take a look at another piece of information. So when the field engineer gets to the location and uh, they want to know what to do, they can say, OK, Glass, pull up the pre-job checklist. And there you go. So as the field engineer, I can say, OK, I have to confirm the, object the objectives once on site. I have to contact headquarters if the well conditions differ from the plan that was discussed at the base. I have to call base if I have any questions prior to the job start, and I can obviously do that hands-free with this device that's tethered to my smartphone. Perform the pre-job uh, job safety analysis, and of course that can also be programmed into Glass. And of course comply with customer client policies and procedures. And ensure that service equipment that we bring on is compatible with on-site equipment. So here, rather than having sort of a cumbersome and messy tally book in my hands and I have to take my gloves on and off, I can just say, you know, pull up this information and it's right here. So the final thing I can show you, I'm going to go back to the screen. And let's say that uh, I want to know exactly what the settings are and I want to know uh, how, 
how the, uh, the string of jewelry is set up at the bottom of the well. So I say, OK, glass, pull up the bottom hole assembly. And here it is. So the objective on this job is to isolate open hole water production with a bridge plug and cement retainer. And so what can I do? I can just basically slide through all of the different tools on this job. And now I'm going to just go back to the main screen. So you can see that I've programmed uh, three different pieces of information. And the key here is that this is all at the field engineer's, uh, I would say fingertips, but really it's uh, at the field engineer's voice. Whenever they want to, it's hands-free, so there's no need to be on the rig, taking gloves on, taking them off, it's all here. And it really just, uh, it gives the engineer access to a lot of information on demand in a way that's, uh, that's easily accessible when they want it and that's out of the way when they don't. So I'm gonna close this video and say that uh, I'm very excited for this. I hope that this video gets the conversation going. Uh, I really would like to get some input as to ideas as to how I could make this better and things you'd like to see implemented. And, uh, and if you'd like to, uh, to get in touch about organizing um, an on-site trial with these Google Glasses rather than just having me do this from a conference room, I think that'd be excellent also. You can get in touch with me either through my website, www.davidboshe.com, or my Gmail address, which is w, or I'm sorry, building hydrocarbon bonds at gmail.com.